What's up YouTube? This is Shuttle Boy and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video we're going to be talking about this month's random pickups of the month. This month is going to be February's random pickups of the month. So let's get right into it guys. Alright, so this month's random pickups. Uh, I don't have too much to be honest with you guys, but I have enough to do a video at least on it. This month is also very, very random. Nothing super crazy cool or anything, but uh, this is all very just different things. Starting off with, I got some Pokemon cards. Um, so uh, first thing I want to show you guys is I ended up getting a theme deck. Uh, if you did not know, um, I believe I haven't talked about this yet, but uh, they did release Sword and Shield uh, Pokemon cards very recently uh, that are just of the Pokemon that are seen in the video games, the new video game Sword and Shield uh, Generation 8. So I don't know, I was pretty hyped uh, to see what the new cards look like. I am not a collector of the cards by any means at all. I do not collect them. Um, but when I was younger, I used to buy a ton of the cards. Um, and obviously, I, or not obviously, but I haven't bought any cards in a really long time. Uh, I bought like a pack or two of the like Sun and Moon style ones because I wanted a jumbo card of a Mewtwo. It looks super cool. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know. I was hyped when I heard that the new cards were coming out. So I bought a theme deck. Uh, which is all of the grass type Pokemon I picked because uh, I started the game um, with Grookey, so I wanted to get that. It has Rillaboom on the front of this. I think that's super sweet. And yeah, it just has a ton of different grass types in here. Um, it has Grookey, Thwacky, and Rillaboom in it. When you get that, then you also get like an instruction booklet uh, basically telling you uh, how the whole game is played and stuff. Apparently, I think there's little changes to the rule set now for sword and steel which is pretty cool i haven't played in so long so i have to read that to look into it you also get a playing mat um which a lot of the decks come with this is this mat here um that um it basically tells you where to place certain parts of the deck on it um i'm not gonna fully pull it out um but yeah that's pretty cool i might buy another theme deck just so i have two of the playing mats you also get one of the coins which is always really cool you know that you always get one of these when you buy one of those big decks which is nice and it has obviously grookey on it um so yeah just pretty hyped because i want to play I want to try playing the card game at least. I don't want to buy a ton of cards, but I wanted to buy at least enough that I can play the card game and enough for two people so if someone came over, I can have them play the game with me. They don't have to bring their own cards, uh, which leads us into the next thing, which I bought, um, I believe, three booster packs, and we're going to skip to me opening them because that's more interesting. All right, I'm going to keep it real with you. I just got these new packs, and I can't wait till a random pickups video to unbox these. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to throw this into the video. So we're going to do it. Um, this is very unprofessional the way I'm doing it, but let's get into it. I'm really excited for these. I was a total idiot, and I'll talk about this in the random pickups video, but I forgot to get booster packs. We got the two packs out now. Uh, both of them have Zamazenta on them, which is dope. Um, that was the game I played. Uh, I like how they add these plastic things. It looks cool, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't like it because it's just like a weird way of them trying to act like you got a bunch of cards, but really it's just one pack. Um, but yeah, let's open these up, see what I got. All right, I haven't gotten Pokemon cards in a long time. Um, I'm not gonna do the weird trick they do when people that actually open packs do, um, but we got a Furrow Seed, which is, that's a cool art. I'm getting these for the art, and I actually think I'm gonna try and get back into playing the game. Uh, I never really truly got into playing the game, but, um, yeah, I just, I want to try it. Zigzagoon, I love Galarian Zigzagoon. Super fire. Gossifleur, another cool one. That art looks sweet. Silicobra. If he was earlier in the game, I probably would have used him a lot more, but he was too late in the game for me to use it. Ooh, a shiny, it's like the reverse style of Hop. Some people love Hop, some hate. Ooh, a hollow of Bolton. That looks sick. I love it. I doubt it's worth anything, but it looks so cool. And we got an energy. And then we got a ride on, which that art looks sweet. Eldegoss looks sweet. Air balloon. And then we got the code card, which I doubt any of you play, but if you wanted to, there you go. All right, so last pack here. We got a Rhyhorn, which is pretty fire. 
I always liked Rhyhorn. Underrated. Rosalia, another super underrated one. I always liked that. Another Furrow Seed, another Krabby, another Zigzagoon. I love that Zigzagoon, so. Another Rosalia, but a, the reverse style one. And then we got a Lantern, Energy, Team Yellow Grunt, Hitmonlee, and Salazzle. Dang, I was really hoping to get a, um, Here's the code, guys. I was really hoping to get a scent to Scorch, but that's okay. So yeah, those are the cards that I ended up getting, and yeah, nothing too crazy, but just more cards to fill out the deck, because with a theme deck, then it's kind of overpowered. I didn't really think of it um, earlier, because if you have all grass type, then if the person has water types, that kind of messes it up, and there's no way of making it an even playing field if I bought, let's say, the fire and the water deck, well, one person's gonna be at disadvantage every time. But without a doubt, I am really excited to at least play the game because I've only played it a couple times even when I was younger, but I really wanna try playing it for real this time. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about that I picked up is I bought a ton of different magazines this month. Um, obviously, with the passing of Kobe Bryant uh, in the recent times, uh, a lot of different publications have released commemorative issues of different newspapers magazines etc so I wanted to pick up some magazines to commemorate that time so to start off I did end up getting the ESPN uh, issue of Kobe Bryant which is really cool I really like this picture that they used and then on the back it has him wearing the crazy aids doing that dunk we all know and love um, and then uh, to know you have an authentic because I'll be honest I screwed up on this the first time uh, you have to see if the inside cover has the yellow with the eight on it and then the back cover has the yellow with the 24 um, because actually I did at first I bought these on Amazon and Amazon did reprints and it actually didn't have those on the covers um, and there might be differing pages as well um, but I just I was okay with having a reprint to some degree but I also felt kind of dumb having one and when I walked into the grocery store one day uh, I saw that they had original copies of it so I thought I might as well just get the original copies and then return the other ones a lot of these are very informational and they're just just a really good read in my opinion um, also then we also have the Los Angeles Times uh, one as well which this is not a reprint and we also have a Centennial Icons uh, collectors issue that just says Kobe at the top uh, which I just thought this one looked really cool I don't really have any personal connection to the publication uh, but the other two I felt like were must having the ESPN one and then the LA Times one last but not least as far as the Kobe related things is I did get Time Magazine but this is a cheaper version I believe this is not the commemorative version uh, they made two different versions I believe one was a full-on commemorative that's really thick and I just went into like a Walmart one day and saw this was there for like six bucks it's really thin it has ads on the back and stuff so it's nothing cool but um, I'm just happy to have this because this is once again Time Magazine an iconic publication and I really liked the cover of it it's just another one that for six bucks might as well add it in and while I got that while I got that I ended up getting as well just this random Hoop Magazine. Uh, it says the New World Order on it. I know nothing about this. It's just kind of talking about uh, the upcoming NBA season, which is already well underway. Um, but I got it for five bucks. Um, I thought it would be a cool thing to add to just like my reading collection as far as just books and different things that I have to read. And also a big reason I got it is while I was flipping through it at Walmart, I ended up seeing uh, that it had a LeBron poster in it and I just thought for five bucks a LeBron poster might as well might as well you know and then I have something else to add to my uh, reading collection all right and last but not least we got three more things to talk about here and the first thing to spark this all up is the most random thing and <laughs> That is, I bought a Nintendo Wii, guys. Now, I didn't bring it over here to show you guys because, I mean, you know what a Wii looks like. I'll throw some B-roll. But, um, yeah, I bought a Nintendo Wii. I just went to one of my local, uh, it's like a mom and pop shop style video game store. They sell vintage video games and stuff that people trade in. And I saw they had a Wii for like $35, I believe. So I went ahead and capped it. Specifically, uh, the GameCube is one of my favorite uh, systems ever. Now, now I know this isn't a GameCube, but I thought that buying a Wii is kind of killing two birds with one stone because it's compatible with GameCube games. You can plug in a GameCube 
controller on the top as well as memory cards and yeah then i can play wii games and gamecube games with only having one console so it doesn't take up as much room so uh, eventually i probably will want to buy an actual gamecube um but i thought this was a good way of now i can buy a ton of games either wii games or gamecube games and it all works on one thing so um uh, one thing i do want to note the system was totally fine for 35 dollars but um the Wii controller is a little beat up. It's nothing crazy. Like the back obviously doesn't have the original cover, which I thought was kind of messed up. Um, but the nunchuck seems to be good. Uh, personally, I hate the nunchuck as far as for video games in general. I try to avoid the games that use the nunchuck unless I absolutely have to use it. So obviously I had to get some games to play on this Nintendo Wii. So the games that I ended up getting are very random. Uh, we got NBA Live 2005. Now I actually have very fine memories of this game. This is the first basketball game I ever got. Um, I don't believe it was the first sports game though. I think I got Madden 06 before I got NBA Live 05 actually. Um, but yeah, I just played this game a ton and I thought it would be kind of cool to throw back to my early years and play the exact game that I used to play a ton because this was the second to last uh, basketball game that came out for the um, GameCube. Uh, so I had a GameCube and I didn't get a Wii immediately at launch. So I was stuck playing a GameCube and I would just have to play this game all the time because there was never any new uh, basketball games that came out. So I'd always have to trade the rosters to try and make it as up to date as possible. It was really funny, but um, yeah, I played it now and damn, this game is dated, but it was still a fun nostalgia trip. And then the last game I got, is another GameCube game, and that is Mario Golf. I, I really had a lot of fun with this. I've already played it a ton, and I forgot how fun this game is. It's just a laid back game that's just enormous amounts of fun. Now, obviously, what you're seeing here is I bought two GameCube games and I bought a Wii, and I didn't even buy a Wii game. And that's just because um, the place that I bought it from, these were at the mom and pop shop thing there too. And they just don't really have any Wii games that really sparked my interest. And obviously neither one of these games is like the craziest GameCube game to get either. Um, but I just wanted to buy something to play on it. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get a memory card, so I cannot save for these at the moment. And I didn't want to buy a memory card right now because I do know that I do have one back at the old Shuttle Boy headquarters. It is there, um, and I know exactly where it is. So I didn't want to have to pay the extra like eight, ten dollars to buy one uh, when I know I actually have one now that I can put to use. So that's pretty much gonna conclude this video of random pickups, guys. Please let me know down below what pickups you were really excited about or have any connections with. Let me know down below. Also, please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video as well, guys. And please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf wing, more sneakers, more clothing, more Shuttle Boy. And this is Shuttle Boy, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace.